It finally happened. It finally fucking happened. And I'm kind of happy. I'm not going to lie. Elon Musk is finally in control of Twitter. CNBC says that Elon Musk is now in charge of Twitter. CEO and CFO have left. Sources say not only have they left, and they probably were fired, but they left. And Elon went on to fire the Jaya Gade. I imagine that's how you pronounce her name. I'm not sure. Head of legal policy, trust, and safety, who made the decision to permanently suspend Donald Trump. There is a strong chance, a strong chance that Donald Trump might be returning to Twitter. Now, here's what Elon Musk had to say about being in control of Twitter. He said, I wanted to reach out personally to share my motivation in acquiring Twitter. There's been much speculation about why I bought Twitter and what I think about advertising. Most of it has been wrong. The reason I acquired Twitter is because it is important to the future of civilization to have a common digital town square where a wide range of beliefs can be debated in a healthy manner without resorting to violence. There is currently greater danger that social media will splinter into far right and far left wing echo chambers that generate more hate and divide for our society. That is why I bought Twitter. I didn't do it because it would be easy. I didn't do it to make more money. I did it to try and help humanity, whom I love. And I do so with humility, recognizing that failure in pursuing this goal, despite our best efforts, is a very real possibility. That said, Twitter obviously cannot become a free-for-all hellscape, where anything can be said with no consequences. In addition to adhering to the laws of the land, our platform must be warm and welcoming to all, where you can choose your desired experience. I also very much believe that advertising, when done right, can delight, entertain, and inform you. It can show you a service or product or medical treatment that you never knew existed, but is right for you. For this to be true, it is is essential to show Twitter users advertising that is as relevant as possible to their needs. Low relevancy ads are spam, but high relevant ads are actually content. Fundamentally, Twitter aspires to be the most respected advertising platform in the world that strengthens your brand and grows your enterprise. To everyone who has partnered with us, I thank you. Let us build something extraordinary together. Now, the one thing that I wanna highlight the most is that Elon Musk points out the importance of having a common town square where everyone can come together and discuss political and social, socioeconomic ideas. Um, the, the problem right now with Twitter is that it was run by very radical left, hard left people who refused to entertain the opinions of people who they felt were too far right or their opinions were wrong, whatever the case might be. Twitter was becoming a place of censorship along with Twitch, YouTube, Facebook. By acquiring Twitter, Elon Musk has allowed the playing field to level. And he's right about this. When the world comes to a place where you have a far left echo chamber and a far right echo chamber, we're no longer talking and instead we're now plotting and planning to destroy one another. We're no longer on the same team. We're no longer working towards something in common, but we're now working to demolish and destroy one another. That's the big thing that Elon Musk understands. And I've been trying to say this to people for so long who are pro censorship. If you put these people, if you segregate ideas, if you segregate beliefs, if you try to make Twitter a left liberal only hub, what you create is a divide within the nation. Most people are not, I would imagine most people are in the middle. Most people are not super liberal or super conservative. They're in the middle. When they see censorship taking place, when they see hardline politics taking place, it can create resentment and confusion. Elon Musk taking control of Twitter, I believe, is what's best. Twitter needs to be a place where we can all discuss and communicate our ideas. And like he said, it won't be a Wild West place where everybody can do and say as they please with no consequences. However, censorship for the sake of ideology and not censorship for the sake of genuine risk, you know, that's a problem. It's a genuine problem. And I think that uh, I think that Elon Musk has definitely made the right move here. I think that Elon Musk acquiring Twitter is going to take the app in the right direction. I don't believe that Twitter should be a left wing only hub. I think this is a great thing. I think that this will uh, this will change the game as one of the biggest platforms has now been acquired by somebody who has no biases and is willing to let everybody come to the table and share their opinions and ideas. It's going to be a lot harder for the radical liberals to dominate and control the political sphere and force people to adhere to ideologies and beliefs they may not necessarily believe in. 
uh, forcing people to get off their platform for sim simply having a difference in opinion. The bias of mainstream uh, media platforms, social media platforms, is unbelievably easy to see, embarrassingly so, especially for a platform like Twitter, which is basically the new public square. You know, we're not going down to the center of the city to see somebody standing on a podium. We go on our phones to see what the most influential people in society have to say. That's the new world that we live in. We're not going down to town square to see Benjamin Franklin or or Abraham Lincoln talk or Martin Luther King. We're not going down there. We're now going on our phones to see what, well, in the past, what Trump has to say, what Obama has to say. Uh, we're, we're, this is the new public square, and it needs to be a space where everyone, regardless of ideology, can be able to exist. So I think that Elon Musk taking over the app is for the better. I think we'll see a lot more fair treatment. I think we'll see a lot more reasonable punishments. I think you're going to see a lot less permanent bans and instead, you know, uh, more reasonable bans, maybe week bans, monthly bans, which I believe will be a lot better for getting people in line. I think if you show people like, hey, look, we're not going to permanently get you out of here, but for a while, we don't mind putting you out. We'll put you out for a little bit until you can get your shit under control. And when you do, you can come back on the platform. But permanently banning people, getting rid of people for difference of opinion, it's not acceptable. And I think that a lot of people have gotten used to this. They've gotten comfortable with it. Maybe they're left wing and liberal and they, they're, they're happy with the fact that people who they disagree with are being censored. And they're unhappy with the fact that Elon Musk is now in control of Twitter. I think it's a very sad thing that in our country, we have people who are so pro-censorship and are angry that someone who is anti-censorship is now in control of the platform. It's sad to see. It's genuinely sad to see. Um, but that's the, that's the state that we're currently in as a nation. And hopefully more unbiased ownership of social media platforms uh, will change the landscape. Hopefully somebody else who thinks like Elon Musk will buy a major, maybe Elon might buy another platform. It's possible. With the combined funds of Tesla and Twitter combined, Elon might buy another company next. It's possible. Or maybe, you know, these companies, you know, they, 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 they dig their heels in and say, you know what? Morals over money. We'll see. But this is a war. This is an ideological war between those who wish to censor everything and those who wish to allow ideas to flourish. We're going to see what happens. Kanye is about to be back. Trump is coming more than likely going to be back. Uh, we're going to see the return of a lot of characters that were banned from the uh, from the show. <laughs> It basically is a TV show at this point. So I'm happy to see that things are lightening up. I think it's a bright day, a new day for politics, a new day for uh, for, for just political discussion in general. And I'm happy to see it. It is what it is. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm out.